Let's say in 1916 you wanted to buy a gallon of milk. You might have expected to pay 31 cents for the gallon of milk. Fast forward just a few years to 1920, if you want to buy that same gallon of milk, now it's going to cost you 57 cents. What's happened is that governments and banks have taken 26 cents out of every one of your dollars in order to finance their war. Inflation is a hidden tax. But of course, it didn't stop in 1920. If you want to understand how much our money has been devalued, going from 1914 to today, our dollar has lost 97% of its value. Since by law, the Federal Reserve is responsible for the nation's money supply, they're the ones who are responsible for the loss in that money supply. Well, where does all this loss in value stop? What's the end result of all this when the government and the banks continue to devalue our currency? 